Hi everyone and welcome to TWF Power or Mike. I am Jonathan Coachman, here with Trini Kwan and with Corey Graves. And today on Power or Might, we're going to see the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight winnings on the line when this time Rio Bachinko fights Roman Reigns. And we all know what happened yesterday on Rampage, a run in. Uh, Jonathan Coachman said when Jim fought, re fought Roman Reigns for the world, for the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight winnings. Jonathan Coachman says, "Yes, we did." Trini Kwan said, "It was a one. It was a two-sided match, but somehow, some way, even though Jim did everything she could do, Roman Reigns still beat her." Trini Kwan says, "I will tell you why she still beat her, still won, because he's on what some would call the God settings. I uh, just something he made up in his mind. You know, not some truth, but something he made up." Corey, Gra uh, Corey Graves says, and that's why Roman Reigns still won. Well, let's go to the ring now. We got Rio Bachinko here, and we got Jem on the other side. So, let me get this right, Rio Bachinko says. I saw what Roman Reigns did when he fought Jem or Jerrica, and the shameful thing he did to her. Then I saw the stunt, and then I, then those two weaklings, Jimmy and James and Jason Uso, the two oh near can underling weaklings of Roman Reigns, come out and beat me up after the match too. And I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened of Roman Reigns or Polly Dangerously or Jason Uso or James Uso putting their middle thing up in the air and calling themselves the one. Yeah, well, fuck that. Everyone has a goal until they get bust in the mouth. You think you're unstoppable? You think you're unbeatable, Roman Reigns? Fuck that, you're not. Rio Bachinko says, and I'll tell you right now, Jem says, this time... You're not going to win. Because this time, unlike yesterday, when Synergy had updates and I couldn't do more beyond just being this gem likeness, um, I got some goals set up. Something that's going to help us win this match. Well, here comes Roman Reigns now with his overseer, Paulie Dangerously. Now, let's see. Oh, so now, Rio Bachinko, you think that you're going to beat me for the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight winnings after your girlfriend, Jim, or should I say Jerrica, could not beat me? Yeah, don't make me laugh, but I always like to put my winnings on the line, because I always like to smash them and stack them and beat them, don't I? Yeah. You do. You like to do that, Polly Dangerously says. And we always believe in the fair fight, the fair match. So the way I look at it, I won't do anything in this match, Polly Dangerously says. Jason brother and Jane's brother won't do anything in this match either. You know what, Polly Dangerously? Why we don't believe you, Jim says. Yeah, I don't believe you at all, Roman Reigns. You're nothing but a weakling and needs everyone else to help you. Well, we'll have to see about that. Well, this is for the TWF. This is for the TWF heavyweight winnings and world heavyweight winnings. First, he is. First is, he is Rio Bachinko. And he is the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight fighter, Roman Reigns. Ding, ding, ding. We're up the front, Rio Bachinko. Getting ready. Oh! Rio Bachinko just knocked down Roman Reigns like he said he was going to do. 
He said he was going to knock his, the, knock their teeth down their throat yesterday, Trini Kwan says. Yeah, that's what he said he's going to do, Jonathan Coachman said. And he is doing it. A closed stake. Another closed stake. Polly dangerously can't handle it. He almost fell down. And Rio Bachinko is no one to, no one to frighten with. You know, John Coachman said, How many folks have had a goal? How many folks thought they had Roman Reigns beat? You know? And then sadly, he beat them. Ah, uh, Corey Graves said a lot of them. Now, Rio Bachinko is going to get ready to do ready to knock Roman Reigns out. But Roman Reigns got him. Oh, man, strike. Rio Bachinko just got over man struck. Spear. I just took the fight board out too. Jim hit the ground too. And there goes Paulie dangerously. He goes out too. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. One, two. Can't do it here. Get out of the way. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. And still the TW. Here is your winner. And still the TWF heavyweight fighter and world heavyweight fighter. Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns has beat. This time he beat. Rio Bachinko, and he is still the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight fighter. But at the end of the day, Jonathan Coachman says, what forgiveness would Rio Bachinko have for not beating Roman Reigns? And what, what would be the forgiveness for Roman Reigns beating Rio Bachinko, I mean to say? Roman Reigns always has all these forgivenesses for why he always wins, you know. And that's truly sad. <coughs> Jonathan Coachman says, Yeah, I really truly believed that Rio Bachinko was going to beat Roman Reigns and become the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight fighter, Trini Kwan said. But it sadly, wasn't in the booking, wasn't in the booking. No, it was not, Joey Style. It was not, Corey Graves says. It wasn't in the booking at all, Jonathan Coachman and Trini Kwan. And I'd like to hear from Rio Bachinko now. He isn't so tough now after he got after he got beat, right? You know. Wasn't so tough after he got beat, huh? Well, Joey Styles is gonna talk with Roman Reigns and Polly Dangerously and Jason Uso and James Uso or the brothers because they're back in the ring now and they probably think they're the shit and I hope that they don't have to deal with any more unwanted folks all right Roman Reigns you somehow have this belief that you're unbeatable and unstoppable but sooner or later, one day, you're going to get beat. When is that day going to happen, Joey Styles? I don't know. I'm not God. I'm not all-seeing. I'm not all-knowing. But I do know that no man or woman can be unbeatable or unstoppable. Well, so far, I'm unbeatable and unstoppable. So far, everyone who's come at me everyone who's come at me you know since August of 2020 YL and I'll stack them and smash them and beat them and I guess now we can put Jem and Rio Bachinko on that list of the beatings can we well I guess so uh, I guess you can if you want to Roman Reigns but sooner or later you are gonna lose and when that's going to happen, who knows? Only God knows when you're going to lose. 
I'm on God setting. There is no God setting, Roman Reigns. I'm sorry, that's all made up. You should be ashamed of yourself going around asking for everyone to welcome you, asking for onlook, when you have done nothing in two years to get that onlook, except be a creep, be a heel, be a bully. That's all you've done. And all you've done is either had your two near kin over here help you out, or you had Polly dangerously help you out. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, me ashamed of myself. And I'm the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight fighter. I'm the kin leader. I'm the head of board. I'm the overlord, the highest leader, the king, the Kaiser. I am not ashamed of anything. I am unbeatable and unstoppable. Whatever. Well, back to you, Jonathan Coachman. Well, uh-oh. Brock Lesnar's in the ring. Hey, I'll deal with I'll deal with him. So, well, Brock Lesnar's back, and it looks like they're going to shake hands. No, they're not. F5 on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns just got f 5 And now here comes Jason Uso now. And now he got, he gets F5 too. And here comes Jimmy, James Uso. And he got F5 as well. And I think Paulie Dangerously is the only lucky one. He didn't get beat up and F5 did by Brock Lesnar. Well, looks like it is all the time we got here for TWF, you know, uh, Power of Might. I am Jonathan Coachman for Trini Quad and Corey Graves. We hope you like Power or Might, and we'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw or Alone Day Night Raw.